Hi guys, my name is Amanda Rasidlo, and for my physics podcast, I'm going to demonstrate the conservation of linear momentum through a device known as the Galilean Cannon. I'm going to make it out of this tennis ball and my medicine ball. Now usually, when you bounce an object, it loses its kinetic energy because of the deformation that allows it to bounce. But when you put the two objects together so that they're in contact when they bounce, the smaller object goes flying a lot higher than either of the objects they'd even put together. But where does it get all this extra energy from? Conservation of linear momentum says that the system of these two objects cannot gain or lose momentum. It has to be conserved. We get a little bit of a clue from the week one physics in action assignment where we saw an inelastic collision, two objects coming together and adding their momentums. Here, this is an elastic collision where the momentum of the medicine ball gets transferred to the tennis ball. And since the momentum of the tennis ball goes up and its mass doesn't change, its velocity has to go up. I thought this was totally counterintuitive. I expected the tennis ball to fly no higher than if you would bounce it off of a medicine ball, that there would be some addition because of the elasticity of the medicine ball. But I did the experiment and I saw the result. So I hope you found this as nifty as I did. Thanks for watching.